is a first generation. We love Trump from our bottom of the heart because we know Trump is the only one can save America. Kamala is so stupid. She is so low. IQ equal no Q, no qualification to be the president. You shall stay away from that position. You are the lost position. You lost our trust. You lost our vote. You just need to go home to stay home. You cannot do anything to save America. You are so stupid. You don't know anything. You cannot even answer any question from the camera, from all the media. How you can be on the stage to fight for America, to protect American people, to protect all the world. You are not qualified. You just need to go home. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, folks? Welcome back. Man, we had to talk about this MAGA Square Garden. Yes, Mr. Trump held a rally at the famous Madison Square Garden in New York. And a lot of people say it wouldn't happen. It only holds about 23,000 people. And there was people lined up for hours. Some people over 20 hours lined up ready to get in it was around wrapped around the block hours so if there's twenty five thousand people inside there's about 25 outside waiting to get in you know the governor of new york kathy holcomb remember her she says this about black people young black kids growing up in the bronx who don't even know what the word a computer is they they don't know they don't know these things and i want the world open up to all of them yeah we don't know how to use a computer okay fine she also said that new york would never vote for trump well i'll tell you it won't make a difference at all jake and that is for donald trump to be the ringleader of a and invite all his clowns to a place like the bronx new york will never ever support donald trump for president and i hope to god that Mr. Trump make her eat those words. So Trump holds a rally at Madison Square Garden. People lined up for hours to get in just to see him. Just to pose that to Ms. Harris in Houston, they had people lined up for 12 hours to see not Ms. Harris, but to see Beyonce. It's town. Beyonce does a four minute speech and Hall's ass. As soon as she leave, people start booing Kamala. Kamala Harris! The Indian community will not be voting for you. Specifically because you paid Beyonce $10 million just for a speech? Kamala, you had the opportunity to hire one of the greatest Indian dancers of all time. And I only charge 10 rupees. Kamala, how dare you waste so much money and you couldn't even get Beyonce to sing Crazy in Love. Democrats, you guys are getting scammed. At least when you come to a MAGA rally, we have Kid Rock and me. I will be performing the Skamala. But in New York, these people lined up for over 20 hours to see Trump. And Trump comes in with a couple of his friends. You know something, Trump maniacs? I don't see no stinking Nazis in here. I don't see no stinking domestic terrorists in here. The only thing I see in here are a bunch of hard-working men and women that are real Americans, brother. Yes, the hoaxer. The hoaxer always get me pumped up. Every time I see him out there, boy, I'm ready to go at it, boy. And not to mention Vivek. Vivek comes out and makes a claim that New York is now a swing state. 
I had a friend of mine, smart guy, he's a billionaire, texted me this morning. And he said, why the hell are you guys wasting your time in New York City instead of going to a swing state? You want to know what I told him? I said, welcome to 2024. New York is a swing state. <laughs> now, the top MC of the day was this guy here, Kill Tony. He's a comedian. I don't know him too much, but he had me rolling. <laughs> Republicans are the party with a good sense of humor. Free speech is under attack, people. I host a show, and each week I get updates what words we're allowed to use and not use anymore. It's happening right now the past few years. It's a real thing. And, uh, you know, used to be able to tell people to Google stuff. My mom's a boomer in the state of Ohio, and uh, there's no convincing her of anything. She's eating the cats. She's eating the dogs. They're eating the pets up there. It is absolutely wild times. It really, really is. And, uh, you know, there's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. Now, again, normally I don't follow the national anthem, everybody. Uh... This isn't exactly a perfect comedy setup. There's some people here. All right. Very good. And you know who's really mad about this? Congresswoman AOC. What does it do today? You know, this honestly isn't really about a comedian. This is about the Trump campaign. This, those comments and that individual saying those things on that stage inciting an entire arena of individuals who have been previously incited to commit attacks like the ones we saw on January 6th by people like Donald Trump. None of that was an accident. Oh my God, the fake outrage, the fake outrage by these pundits. The worst of them all is Al not too Sharpton. This guy here says this. He said, yeah. I could be laying out in the beach with my white, white skin getting tanned. I mean, this is Donald Trump's mouth right. saying this. So I, I, I said to, uh, to those on the fence, this is not a real racial signal. My pretty, white, beautiful, white, white skin. Yeah. Donald Trump said this last night at his homecoming. He actually came on TV and says that Trump sunbathing is racist. And that's proof that he is a Nazi. This guy is the idiot, folks. I don't believe he got on TV. This is what Trump said. The greatest resorts in the world. I could have been extremely happy. I could have had those beautiful waves smack me in the face. I could have had the beautiful suntan. This white, white skin could have been tan and beautiful. Are you offended by that? Oh, my God. Every liberal on Monday. The day after MAGA Square Garden are having a shit fit. They had this already planned already. For a week or so, they kept saying it's a Nazi rally. It's a Nazi rally. It's a Nazi rally. A comedian gets on stage, makes a couple of jokes, and here they go. See, see, we told you, we told you. It's jokes, people. The other side's got a lot of crazy endorsements. Swift, Eminem, Leo DiCaprio, Beyonce. Every day the Democratic Party looks more and more like a P. Diddy party. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what you guys want. And this is another reason why we have to win this election. They want to shut down freedom of speech. This is why Elon Musk bought Twitter, ex-Twitter because to give us freedom of speech and they don't like that. This is what Kamala said about social media. As he has lost his privileges and it should be taken down. And, and the bottom line is that you can't say that you have one rule for Facebook and you have a different rule for Twitter. The same rule has to apply, which is that there has to be a, 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 a responsibility that is placed on these social media sites to understand their power. They are directly speaking to millions and millions of people without any level of, of, of oversight or regulation. And that has to stop. Guys, this is what they believe in. The Democrat Party 
are the party of the fuddy duddies now. Even Hillary Clinton says this about social media. The platforms, whether it's Facebook or Twitter X or uh, Instagram or TikTok, whatever they are, if they don't moderate uh, and monitor the content, uh, we lose total control. And it's not just the social and psychological effects, it's real harm. So now the Democrat Party is a no fun party. Even Joe Rogan said this. Rebels are Republicans now. They're like, you want to yeah, be I a rebel? You right? want to be punk you're... rock? You want to like yeah. buck the system? You're yeah. a conservative now. That's the, mm -hmm. that's how crazy. And then the liberals are now pro pro silencing criticism. They're they're pro censorship online. They're they're talking they about regulating the... free speech and that regulating the First Amendment. It's bananas to watch. The Republican Party is the party of the rebel. We are the one that is bucking the system. We tired of the system, so we bucking the system. Black, white, Hispanic, Puerto Ricans, we all bucking the system. We don't want to go along with the system anymore. So we're going to go our own way. And they don't like us. They want us to put us back on the plantation. The Democrat Party wants to put us back on the plantation, and we're not going along. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you next time.